Water. It's the lifeblood of planet Earth, the planet that we and millions of diverse animal species call home. Many of these animals are aquatic, meaning they live and grow entirely in the water. In this special program, we'll be meeting three such creatures who made water their home. So without further ado, it's time to dive into an aquatic safari. Our first animal is a tiny species of catfish hailing from the Amazon River. Let's hand it off to my good friend Crumpetuous Rex for the first segment of the show. The Pictus Catfish The Pictus Catfish was discovered in 1876, found in the warm rivers throughout South America. The Pictus is an omnivore, eating everything from insects, snails, algae, and even smaller fish, bringing fact to the age-old saying that there's always a bigger fish. Pictuses are commonly kept as pets in freshwater aquariums, you know, the places where you buy fish. The Pictus is a nocturnal fish. This means they are most active during the night, just like me if you catch my drift. Unlike most fish, the Pictus, along with all other catfish species, have no scales. True or false, the Pictus catfish is venomous. The answer is true, the Pictus catfish is venomous. The Pictus stores venom in its whisker-like barbels. If stung, well, we all know what happened to little Jerry. Don't be like little Jerry. Now it's time to meet a hardy crustacean from the seas of the west. The Spot Prawn. These shrimp can be found hiding in rocks, corals, or any other nooks and crannies in the environment. They're found on the western coast, ranging from Alaska to San Diego. Spock prawns shed their shells several times in their lives during periods of intense growth. The prawns feed on plankton, algae, worms, mollusks, and other small aquatic creatures. However, they aren't that high on the food chain themselves. They're hunted by predatory fish, squid, and humans looking for a nice shrimp cocktail. True or false, spot prawns can only live for up to a week. The answer is false. In the wild, they can live for four to five years. Unlike the Pictus catfish, the spot prawn lives in a saltwater environment, just like the last animal in our trio of sea creatures, the common clownfish. Common clownfish, also known as Ocellaris clownfish, are found in the tropical coral reefs of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Clownfish have a lifespan of three to six years. They measure up at about three to four inches in length. Clownfish have a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones, which are immobile animals as stinging tentacles. The clownfish has a slimy coat of mucus that protects it from the anemone's stinging cells. With this coat, they can live in the anemone and avoid predators. In return, the clownfish eat parasites that try to use the anemone as its host. The clownfish's waste provides the anemone with nutrients. True or false? All clownfish are born male, but some become female as they age. The answer is true. The largest fish in a school of clownfish is a female, but if it dies, the next largest adult male will turn female to take its place, and so on and so forth. Now that we've been acquainted with these admirable aquatic animals, it's time to test your knowledge with a quiz. Put on your thinking caps because your memory will be put to the test. Question 1. Is the Pictus catfish a carnivore, an herbivore, or an omnivore? The Pictus catfish is a carnivore. Question 2. What is the spot prawn's scientific name? Pandalus platycerus. Question 3. How long can a clownfish grow? 3 to 4 inches. Question 4. What does the Pictus catfish lack that most other fish have? Scales. Question 5. What do spot prawns do during periods of intense growth? They shed their shells. Question 6. Why do clownfish hide in anemones? 
to avoid predators. Quiz over. It's a great big world out there, and little more than two thirds of our planet is made up of water and all its inhabitants. From sea dwelling shrimp to freshwater giants, there's a diverse range of animals that depend on the water to live. I implore you to do your part in keeping their habitat safe. Don't throw your trash into their homes. Now it's time for us to part ways, so I'm Lee Fleming, and I'll see you on the next adventure.